Hey, I'm Tom, the founder of Pack Hacker. And in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the Muji Hanging Travel Case. And here at Pack Hacker, we're a team of frequent to full-time travelers, and we share our travel tips and tricks, as well as do gear reviews, just like this one. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. So let's jump into this hanging travel case. It's very cleverly designed and featured in a lot of museums, design stores around New York City. Let's check it out. Wait, do you call it a toiletry bag or a dop kit? Let me know in the comments and maybe you can help us settle the ever-growing debate here at Pack Hacker. If you're not familiar with Muji, they are a Japanese company that specialize in a lot of little minimalistic trinkets. I feel like everything they have is kind of you know, created and then like downsized to become a lot cleaner. And although Muji is a Japanese company, this travel case is actually made in Cambodia, so just note that. Muji is an abbreviated Japanese word that translates to no brand quality goods, and that's definitely reflected in all their designs. It's very clean, and you won't really see any logos on anything, this travel case included. And if you are familiar with Muji as a brand, it's likely that you've gotten lost in one of their stores exploring and looking at everything that they've invented. Aesthetically, this travel case has some really clean and minimal design, and it looks kind of small, but don't let that fool you. The way that they've kind of designed the interior of this thing really helps you hold a lot of stuff. Overall, we feel it's a slick looking case. It's gonna look good at any hotel, hostel, or Airbnb that you end up staying at and the outside is gonna be some polyester, and on the inside we do have some nylon lining. Now, Muji did used to make this in a nylon version, exclusively nylon on the outside as well, but they've appeared to phase that out. We think the polyester kind of provides a more polished look. And inside we've got some mesh of different grades, some thinner and some thicker, and we'll get into the benefits of that in a minute. So on the outside, we do have this massive zipper here that kind of goes around the entirety of the case, and that's gonna allow you to really open it up. We have this handle at the top, kind of no frills, there's no padding on it. Um, I don't really think you need it because this thing isn't gonna get that heavy, but it's a convenient thing to have. Then you've also got this pocket in the back here, which is gonna be good for holding, you know, flatter items. So if you have any prescription info, maybe you have your immunization forms as you're traveling, uh, I've got a sleeping mask in here and some earplugs because you should really just put earplugs in every bag that you have. It's a little bit of a pro tip because then you'll never be without them and you can snooze wherever. It doesn't matter how loud it is. And again, when you do take a look at this thing as a whole, it does appear to be a little bit small, but when you do open it up, it turns out to be a pretty impressive kit. Maybe it's the way Muji has placed these pockets or maybe it's the way they've designed them and kind of like created this really great use of space. But we found that you can actually fit a ton inside of this thing and it'll really hold anything you need from a personal care perspective while you're traveling. Quick reminder, the TSA and travel approved liquid size is three ounces or 100 milliliters. So we do have some go tubes here and they're right around that size. So as long as you have these, you're gonna be fine going through security. And it's really great that there's also the amount stamped right on there. So if there's any overzealous TSA people, uh, you can just point to that three ounces and be like, I'm good to go, look at me. All right, so getting into a little bit more detail with a bag tour. At the top of this thing, you're going to see that there is this kind of hideable hook going on. So you can pull that out at any time. Uh, this hook won't fit on everything. It's not gonna like kind of hang on a flat surface, um, but it will fit around like a towel bar or some doorknobs and some hooks. But if you're hoping to just kind of hang it on a counter, it's definitely gonna slip off, especially if you have heavier things at the bottom here. It does store away really nicely inside though, and we found that it doesn't really jostle around, so it does stay in that pocket when you do wanna keep it hidden. This top pocket here is made of a looser weaved mesh, and inside you're gonna have five different elastic holsters. So three over here on your right, those are gonna be smaller for smaller items, 
Then we have two that are a little bit larger on the left. So we have some travel toothpaste here, maybe a travel toothbrush, uh, nail clipper tweezers, and a little mini cute Japanese toothpaste. How cute is that? Love it. And moving down here, we have a more discreet pocket that's about two and a half inches in height. You can store more discreet items in there, uh, anything that you don't necessarily want to be out in the open as you do have this thing hanging up. We've also found that it's a good place for like some extra cash or something like that. If you do have that laying around and you do just want to kind of like stow it in somewhere, keep it separate from the rest of your bag. This is a great pocket for that. Also have these little mini razors. Pro tip, these are these Schick ST2s. And I went ahead and just kind of busted the head off of this razor. Then you can kind of travel with them a lot smaller and just kind of like use it on your face like that and just hold by this little tab here. So saving you some space, saving you some ounces. That's what it's all about when you're trying to travel light. And then moving on to this bottom compartment here, this is kind of what it's all about. Um, again, we've got about four elastic holsters here. We got two smaller ones on the sides and then two larger ones in the middle. And then inside here, we do have some room for some other free floating items. So again, we've got these go tubes going on here. Uh, this is actually a travel toothbrush up here that's actually pretty horrible. Definitely don't get it. Not everything we put on this channel, uh, we test and review. But I wanted to put it in there to kind of talk about the size. So this is six and a half inches long. And you can see here that it fits in there seemingly nicely and it's about maxed out, right? So it's maxed out. And you could like kind of stick this in sideways if you wanted to, but that sort of defeats the purpose of the organization. Um, so just note that if you do have kind of longer items that you're trying to travel with, it may be a little bit harder to do that um, with this case. And again, six and a half inches long, vertical, it's about max when you do zip it down. And then lastly, we do have this thinner grade mesh pocket here. Again, it's great because it's kind of clear and you can see through it, but it's gonna work well for smaller items, right? So got some pills in here and I've just shoved like a little microfiber towel in here. And the difference between these two mesh pockets, right? If you're traveling with say like some earrings or some small studs, those are gonna fall out of this top pocket. But in this kind of smaller mesh pocket below, you can fit a lot of smaller items in there and feel you know, better about the security, better that they're not gonna fall through that kind of more loose weave of mesh. One of our contributors, Tynan, took this for a three week spin across Southeast Asia. He used it every day, kind of collected his notes and he wrote the full review over at packhacker.com. So if you wanna like get more detail on this, be sure to go check that out. A couple notes on the materials. You won't see any YKK water resistant materials going on, and you definitely won't see any 1000D Cordura on this thing, any super strong nylon. But we feel that it holds up for most travelers. And in the event that something does go wrong and you're on kind of more of an extended trip, it's not gonna be as punishing as if say a zipper breaks on your backpack, which is a lot bigger of a deal, especially on that main clamshell. Um, but you know, if something were to go wrong with this thing, it would be a little bit more minor and kind of easy to manage. Not to say that anything will, but we've just noticed that it's not made with kind of durable materials like some other stuff is made out of. But overall, the design and the consideration and the amount of stuff that you're able to fit in there, we definitely recommend this. Oh, and Muji even mentions on their site, don't put perfume, nail polish remover, or anything that contains alcohol in this product. We're not exactly sure why, but we assume that some of the materials that are used would likely degrade a little bit quicker over time if those products are used inside. If you are gonna use them, just don't spill them. If you are looking for a more durable solution to your toiletry bag or dop kit, be sure to take a look at our GORUCK Field Pocket reviews. We also have a couple more of these from different brands coming out soon, both on the channel and at packhacker.com. So to wrap up, hopping into the pros of this thing, between the pocket for the hanging hook when not in use to all the pocket consideration and all the design going on, it's uh, very smartly laid out and it's very slick to use. And again, this thing is small and compact, but it actually holds a lot due to that organization. So you're gonna be able to easily, quickly grab whatever you need out of this thing because of that high level of organization. 
And also the hanging function of this travel case works really well in space constrained bathrooms. So if you don't have a lot of counter space, just hang it up on a towel rack or somewhere else and it's gonna be super easy to get to and get to what you need. So for some of the cons of this thing, larger items and longer items won't necessarily fit into this thing that easily. And again, you can kind of put it in there sideways and gain a couple more inches, but that sort of defeats the purpose of the nylon holster design. If we are looking for some other cons, again, that durability we feel like, you know, isn't quite there. We're not exactly sure how long this will last. Worked flawlessly on a three week trip. You know, if you're traveling perpetually for a year, that might be a little bit of a different use case for you. Thanks for taking a look at the Muji Hanging Travel Case review. We hope this review was helpful for you in making your decision. And if you're still here, I'm guessing that you're into travel gear. So be sure to head over to packhacker.com slash newsletter and sign up for our kind of infrequent newsletter that we send once in a while and never miss an update as to what we're up to. Thanks for taking a look. We'll see you in the next video. Components and features. Components and features. My girlfriend's sleeping right now over there in the corner. Shh. Tynan took Tynan took this Tynan, one of our contributors, Tynan, having trouble, having trouble with that one. I, 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 I